Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. How often have you wanted to donate, but didn't know what to do, where to go, or whom to trust? What if someone trustworthy could match your money to a deserving cause simply by engaging the power of the internet? It's what we have, and they don't. 315 million Indians, that's more than the population of the USA, live below the poverty line. In a country where a large population is poor, non-profit organizations play a crucial role in providing help to the needy and the underprivileged. Cheetan Agri works in a printing press as a screen printing operator. He had to give up his studies to support his family following his father's death. Ram Chowdhury is a blind student who couldn't continue his education due to a lack of braille textbooks. These are the students who work during the day and show a lot of aspirations and self-motivation to come in the night to study. So uh, the society needs to give back to them what they deserve. And what they deserve is a very good quality of education. It was to address problems like these that Marsoom came into being. Marsoom is a non-profit organization that focuses on education for youngsters through night schools and aims towards giving them better employment opportunities. It also serves to improve the academic performance of night school students by giving them textbooks and providing them access to computers, libraries and science labs. But being a new non-profit, the NGO faces hurdles during its fundraising process. We are also looking at raising funds through individual donors, not only in India but also abroad because we realize that in, there are a lot of individual do donors sitting out there and only thing is they don't get the right platform because uh, they do not know which are the NGOs working for the cause that they like. And uh, Give India offers that platform. It's a problem that gave birth to an innovative solution called Give India. It is India's first online philanthropy portal. Set up in the year 2000, it features non-profits on its website and allows potential donors around the world to make their donations. Good morning, Give India. People would ask me, I want to do something good, but I don't know where. I don't know whom to trust. I don't know which is a good organization. On the other hand, I would meet a large number of good non-profit organizations doing work at the grassroots level, but they didn't know how to reach out to people like this. So therefore, a bridge that connected these two demands or needs, just matchmaking, seemed like an immediate and simple solution to put in place. That's pretty much how the idea was born. By making the idea as simple as connecting to the internet, picking a non-profit and choosing a cause to donate money for, Give India has created a unique marketplace and what you get here is a promise that your money made a difference to someone. The last two decades we've seen India come out of the economic morass. So 
you know, people now have all the basic things we need. So I think it's high time we pay it back. And India needs that culture of beauty. It's a culture that would help further the work being done by organizations at the grassroots level. Marsoom, being only one and a half years old, would greatly benefit if it is featured on the Give India website. It would make the organization visible to a large number of potential donors. But being listed is not as simple as it may seem. Uh, what happened to Masum? Yeah, Masum has applied for tier one listing. Yeah. Um, all other criteria and norms they have complied with, except for one that is board members. They At a weekly meeting, the Give India staff discussed the prospect listing a new NGO on their website. It's a rigorous process of selecting only those non-profits with a good track record. We are definitely looking forward to be listed as one of the NGOs because, uh, I mean, uh, there are lots of NGOs who do try for the listing and it doesn't happen. It's around 200 NGOs that have got listed so far. So uh, that itself speaks volumes about the rigorous process that they follow and that adds a lot of credibility. So we are looking forward to the listing because it will definitely add a lot of credibility to our organization. The inclusion on the Give India's website will help improve Marsoom's visibility and bring in more donors for its cause, thus benefiting students like Ram Chowdhury and Chetan Agri. In 2008, when ब्रेल टीचर आई जब से हमारे जो ब्लाइंड बच्चे ब्रेल ने सीखे थे वो ब्रेल सीखकर अभी उनको पढ़ाई में कोई तकलीफ नहीं आती थी एन इंटरवेंशन बाय मासूम एट द राइट टाइम हैज गिवन दीस यंगस्टर्स अ गुड एजुकेशन एंड अ होप फॉर अ बेटर फ्यूचर वी नीड टू ऑल वर्क towards giving them what they deserve. Because if the student is not studying in the school, he would be out there in the streets making, doing some anti-social thing. And it is ultimately going to be harmful for the society. So yes, definitely the society has a lot to give. The online platform may have simplified the process of giving by matching a donor to a cause. But to ensure that the money is well spent, is a key challenge for Give India. With a GDP growth rate of 6.1%, India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. But even as its economy prospers, there are still many living on less than two US dollars a day. Give India seeks to engage the nation's booming middle classes to donate a small part of their salaries for big social gains. But with donors concerned about fraudulent NGOs, Give India needs to ensure that those organizations listed on the website are not just trustworthy, but also that the donation monies are well spent. Whether the organization is able to measure what it's doing and report those numbers, uh, is it willing to disclose all kinds of financial information, including, you know, uh, remuneration and reimbursements to board members, top functionaries, etc. So organizations actually have to meet that standard every year. And our promise to the donor is that in six months he will get feedback, and if he doesn't get, he can get his money back. So to work on a process like this, we really need to have an efficient system. Let me take you to understand how you would donate on the Give India website. You select the donation option, you can actually see exactly how your money is going to be utilized. We give you a breakup of every single donation option in terms of the cost structures that are involved and allow you to make an informed decision about the donation. As soon as you make a donation, you'll get a tax receipt in your mailbox and four to six months later, you'll get a feedback report again in your mailbox telling you how your donation was utilized. Apart from receiving feedback reports from non-profit organizations, Give India occasionally makes field visits. One such visit is to Abnalia, an NGO committed to improving the lives of the urban poor in Mumbai. 
आपको क्या मदद करते हैं अमीर कौन सी प्राइवेट स्कूल में जाते हो संजय नगर में तुम्हारा नाम क्या है वीव कम ऑन वन ऑफ आर ट्रिप्स टू अपनाल है टू सी द वर्क दे आर डूइंग इन द कम्युनिटी इट्स अ फेंटेस्टिक एक्सपीरियंस वी डू दिस वंस इन अ वाइल and try to uh, see the work see the impact it's making it makes a difference to our lives also as we go back into our two offices and try to understand seeing the community just always makes a big difference to the way we work and why we do It gives us a lot of meaning to what we are doing uh, in our offices give india came into our lives because a uh, lot of us do not or didn't have access to internet at that time uh, we also thought that resource organizations can do a better job of collecting resources than we all individually doing it and uh, we also appreciated that they were also evaluating really weighing our work and offering society at large options to donate apnalia is a voluntary organization founded in 1973 Its approach is to use donations to empower poor people to help themselves. We started a feeding program for malnourished children to save these children from dying literally because of malnourishment. We actually feed around 200 children every day with nutritious food, but it is not just feeding, it is also mother's education, telling them how to improve their own diet and how to take care of a child. This led to the creation of support systems for the communities that live and work here like the creche that provides a daycare service. Banu Ramzan Sheikh is a resident working with Apnalia for the last 12 years. She has been trained by the organization to look after the needs of children here. यहां के बस्ती के लोग कचरे के ऊपर काम पे जाते हैं। तो उनके बच्चों के संभालने के लिए कोई नहीं है घर में। तो उनको परेशानी होती है बच्चों को संभालने की इसी वजह से अपना लेने सोचा है कि हम क्यों नहीं पालना घर खोले तो अपना लेने पालना घर खोला है इसी वजह से कि बच्चे दिन भर हमारे पास रहे द क्रैश इंश्योर दैट द किड्स आर नॉट ओनली केयर्ड फॉर बट आल्सो फेड वेल डर लग रहा है पीने का तो मेरे तीन बच्चे हैं इधर खाना खाते हैं उनकी बदन उनका बदन सही है जब से खाना चालू है उनकी तंदुरुस्ती सही है तो मैं कचरे पे जाती हूँ दिन भर मेरा दोनों बच्चा इधर पे अच्छा देखभाल होता है और मैं अपना टाइम पे आती अपने बच्चों को लेके चले जाती हूँ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सच इज अपनालिया exist to fulfill community needs and donations are essential for them to be able to fulfill those needs donations that go beyond charity and serve as investments to help empower a whole community somebody donates large amounts and many people donate small amounts i think second is valuable because it also creates in many people a social responsibility Give India offers a valuable resource for non-profit organizations to become more visible and therefore attract more donors. There are many who don't have anything and I think this lies between uh, people who have and people who do not have can be bridged only by organizations like Give India. Give India has so far channeled donations totaling over 17 million US dollars. to more than 200 NGOs all over India and impacting over 1 million lives. When we when we come and see a place like this I think we get a feeling of hope. I think we get a feeling that something good is happening. There are people who are trying and we're trying our best to support them. If I see a challenged child going into a school and uh, continuing education I feel very happy. I feel very happy when girls are today continuing education it also makes me realize how lucky i am in my life that there are people who have much more severe problems and they are smiling so why should i complain i think that is what i take home every day
Give India is an online philanthropy marketplace where donation has been made simple. It has also set stringent criteria to listed NGOs to build the trust of potential donors. That has, however, not made fundraising easy for Give India. One of the biggest uh, challenges in giving is inertia. People like to give, but it's not high on their priority. So, uh, and when you go to people, especially the working class, and you ask them to give a large amount of money, say two or three thousand rupees, seems like a more onerous amount to give. But if you ask them to give 150 rupees a month from their salary, that doesn't seem like a much larger amount. We were quite on target a part of Give India's strategy involves raising a good part of its funds through its payroll giving program, currently operational in more than 60 companies, with 25,000 employees contributing roughly 1.2 million US dollars per annum. For those who contribute, it's a desire to give something back to their society. I think I am amongst the top 1% of Indian population in the sense that I've been blessed to have studied in premier institutions which has been funded by somebody's tax money and it's very easy for me to disappear into the private sector and, and do well in life. Uh, there are many faceless contributions uh, that have brought me to this step and it, I think it's an obligation of, for each one of us, especially people in my uh, situation, to give some of it back. The donations need not be big amounts. It's in fact the little contributions that go to make a big difference to people who are in need of these. Situated about 120 kilometers from Mumbai is a lovely little tribal village called Kudshit. Since April 2004, the Bridge Charitable Trust has been focusing on rainwater harvesting to make water available for farmers throughout the year. Bridge is another organization supported by Give India. Give India has given us uh, money for our farmers with which they give them the seeds, sometimes small machines like hand pump and other things. The money is mainly utilized by farmers to increase their income. It is called money for income generation. With increased availability of water, farmers here have been able to boost their income through crop rotation methods and through cultivation of vegetables. आमाला शेतकऱ्यांना शेतीविषयी मार्गदर्शन केले त्या माध्यमातून आम्ही पूर्वी भात शेती करायचो या वर्षी आम्ही थोडा अनुभव घेतला त्याच्यातून फायदा झाला म्हणून आमची इच्छा असा आहे का पुढच्या वर्षी आम्ही अजून मेहनत करून जास्तीत जास्त उत्पन्न कसे मिळेल हे आम्ही करणार आहोत The people whom Give India has contacts, I mean those people, they do not have contacts right at the smallest village level. And still they want to do something. People have money, people have resources, but uh, where to find them, no? So Give India gets a lot of benefits because of the profession technology and like that, no? People go to the website, they find out what can be done, what, what has to be done and all that thing. And then they, they get money that way. It requires a dedicated team of people working full-time to keep the website up and running and to frequently monitor the performance of over 200 organizations. But the challenge for Give India is to keep its operating costs low. Our teams actually face a lot of people who complain about the 9%, who think even that 9% is too high. And they fight and they argue and they uh, push us really, really hard. And I think that demanding customer drives efficiency. You know, we keep saying that Give India ideally shouldn't exist. Uh, and therefore, given that we are a unhealthy existence in the first place, we should be as minimal an existence as possible. So as little as we are as possible, the better. 
At 9.1% cost of fundraising, they are one of the lowest cost non-religious fundraising organizations in the world, in a sector where such costs are typically around 20 to 40%. And it is able to do that because the staff salaries are low and many volunteers offer their free time to work here. I feel very happy working here because I know this is, we are not the platform or this is not the NGO, but whatever little we are doing at our end is very satisfactory because you know you are doing something very genuine, very authentic. For the Give India staff, the portal merely exists to encourage the spirit of giving, which is innate in every human being. Everyone just presumes and goes to the conclusion that, oh, that it's an NGO, then not worth my while. I'd rather spend my money on something else. But when someone asks me today, I know I can give them a particular answer that uh, you want to do something for a good NGO, go to this site and take your pick and do your research on the site itself. You'll get your answers. Give India is a great idea that meets a great cause. The online philanthropy portal Give India marries fun to specific need on a platform built by shared values and a common mission. It is giving a platform to NGOs like us who can't afford really to have a public relations officer or person who can do this work for us. Uh, it also gives us a legitimacy by recognizing our work and giving us a credibility for the work we are doing. And I think that appeals to people. Giving has to be a means for us to take responsibility and for us to care. Organizations that used to have an annual budget of 2 lakhs or 3 lakh rupees a year now get about 30 to 50 lakhs a year from Give India alone. It's simply because there is that pent up latent demand and desire among people to give. And it's just that people don't know where. So the moment they know here is a credible source through which I can do what I want to do, they're willing to go at it.